because I refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up, Barry. And it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt wins. Right, the bouncer's guilt wins. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day. This is Umar, mate. For IFL TV proudly sponsored by Everlast. Right, your call, let's just get straight into it. So last time I spoke, well, not last time I spoke to Frank, but a couple of times ago, <laughs> um, he said that he's looking to make a rematch between yourself and Jennebeck in the UK. Yeah. So obviously that involved him, you know, putting a large offer into their team. But what's the latest with that, Denzel? Um, yeah, no, I haven't heard nothing back. Just literally that they're going to reach out to them and try to get that rematch in me. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy that's, that's the way we're going. I've been saying I want a world title fight. And I think Jennebeck could be a good fight. I mean, there's history behind it. Over here in the UK will be a lot bigger than over here than it will be back in the US. And listen, no one's in a rush to fight him, so he's going to need to fight at some point. So why not just fight me again? I mean, we had a good scrap, a good little match up um, the last time out. So it could be entertaining. I think people would want to see it and look forward to it. Why would it be different this time? Because now I've, I've been in there with him. Do you know what I mean, I mean, if he's been there with me too. He, he might take a different approach, which makes it, which makes it a better fight. So we'll both probably take a different approach to it. And... It's just going to be an explosive fight. I mean, everyone knows what I'm about and everyone knows what he's about. Uh, our last time, both of our last time out, I think two weeks apart from each other, we both had explosive knockouts. So you know, we're both big punches and like, we both go for it. So, Before your fight, you were quite vocal about, you know, he's not the guy that people make out to be. He's not this killer. And I don't think many people believed you. But having watched that fight with yourself in Janabek, I could see where you were coming from. Um, and, you know, you had a pretty slow start. But yeah. if you had started quicker, you might have nicked it on the decision, on the scorecard. So, um, yeah, that invincibility around him, do you think you took a bit of that away from him? I think I did, but I think he got it back in that last fight, maybe, oh, he, he, he took me lightly or whatever. I think people can make that excuse. But I kept saying it to you guys, like, the way I watch boxing, I watch it with a different eye, innit? Like, I don't, people bought into what the media was saying. So, like, I mean, I've never been one to be hyped up by the, by the media, even though, like, I have, I have a big uh, KO record. If I was brought up as this big puncher, maybe people might feel the same way about me. Do you know what I mean? So I, when I'm watching him, I don't see, I didn't see him as a big puncher. I saw him as a very skilled fighter. Like that was the danger, his, his, his talent, his skill set, setting traps and setting you up. And that's probably why I started a bit slow because I didn't really want to, I didn't want to be able to get set up by anything or him to, that's my rhythm. So it took me a while to really kind of, you know, figure out what, what I needed to do. But once I pressed him and figured out what worked with him, I kept on him for the, for the whole fight. But I mean, he, he has power, but he's not, he's not, not he has, it's not Golovkin. I mean, I ain't been hit by Golovkin, but what you see is it's not, it's not a Golovkin type, you know, power. Like everyone kept saying, oh, he's this and that, he's the next this and that. So, guys. Should he, should he rematch Janabek, yeah? 100%. percent smoking as well. <laughs> <laughs> right, well the, the, two, the, the two best apples in the country fought to get me prepared for that. So, we're all good, we're ready. Credit to them as well for that, obviously. Yeah. Um, well, keep us updated about that situation if there's any developments with Janabek. I guess the other name that is going to pop up if that fight can't materialise with Janabek is Hamza Shiraz uh, because you're both with the same promoter. Domestically, that is the biggest fight I can think of at middleweight, really. Um, but what does that do for you? If you beat Hamza Shiraz, what does that do for you in your career? It does nothing for me, but it's the fight that everyone wants to see. So I've been saying, let's do it. But like, Why take it then? Because that's what, cause I'm, listen, my job's to fight. My job's to fight. If I can't get any fights, I'm not going to sit around and wait for anyone. Do you know what I mean? It, 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 it honestly does. What, what do you think it does for me? You probably like, That's what, why I asked the question. You know what I'm saying? It, it does nothing for me. I mean, it does more for him than it does for me. Yeah. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Cool, he's an undefeated fighter and he's, he's looked good since he moved to middleweight and credit to him. But it, it honestly does nothing for me. But every time that fight's been offered to me, I've said yes, because that's what I do. I fight. Do you know what I mean? So you lot sort something out. Let's go out there, put on a show, you know, uh, a, a big show, whatever it may be, and, and let's get on. But my ultimate goal is to be a world champion. So I want to chase that Janabek fight first or whoever else is a world champion now. First, you know what I'm saying? I'm, in my last fight, I did mention Lara's name because he's, he's been upgraded to full world title since Golovkin's vacated. So that's what I want to do. But if that's the path, path I got across to get there, well, why not? But that fight just seems like all talk, nothing materialised, nothing's been sent, nothing else has been really offered. So I'm just on my quest to be a world champion. So whatever he does, I, I'm not really, I don't really care. But if we need to fight, then I'm, I'm with it. But I want Yannabek. Yeah, of course you do, or, or Lara, but if, if those fights can't materialise, perhaps you and Shiraz for a, a world title eliminator, that would make more sense, wouldn't it? 100%, then there's something in it for me, do you know what I mean? Then there's something in it for me, or, um, yeah, I don't think there is any vacant world titles, so, cause, yeah, so, whatever, whatever it may be, an eliminator to fight whoever needs to fight next, and let's go, but even, I think, even if, 
me and Hamza do fight and somehow he does beat me, I don't think he would be willing to move on to a world title fight straight away anyway. Do you not reckon? I don't think so, because he got off a janibit before me and didn't take it. So, okay. do you know what I mean? I didn't know that. Well, that, that's what it is, isn't it? So, he got off a janibit before me, or they asked for him before, before I got put down there. And I said yes, because that's the, I think he would try and take his time and um, defend the British a couple of times. And then when he gets there, try and you know, be at a position where, okay, I'm ready to be here. I want to be here and stay here. And I'm ready for a world title fight now. I'm ready to go in there and compete for a world title fight. So I think that's the route. So it's, it's pointless, really. But like I said, I'm a fighter. You're not going to call me out or offer me a fight and I'm going to say no. I'm going to say yes, I'm not going to fight. And whatever happens, happens. Okay. Listen, Denzel, yeah, as I said, keep us updated on that Janabek uh, situation. And I'll, I'm sure I'll speak to Frank about it as well. Anything you want to add to the two sharp supporters out there? Yeah, man, you got to keep pushing, man. At that guy, Janabek, man, tell him to come over to the UK. Let's get this cracking. <laughs> on that note, thank you very much. <laughs>